I've got two spontaneous TikTok tries for you guys today. Welcome back to Lima Bean Living. If you guys are new here, my name is Emily. Welcome to my little motherhood channel where I take care of all things mom. I just went to Target and I kind of have a spontaneous like two different TikTok tries that I want to do for you guys today. I wasn't planning on doing this video, but at the same time, like I couldn't pass these guys up. So I thought I'd share them with you and try it for the first time. So the first one can't really wait until we get home. So I'm going to show you guys. I just got a iced triple espresso in a venti cup. It's really all that this is from the Starbucks in the Target. They have like a 20% off coupon in their mobile app right now. So I was like, yeah, might as well because I saw something on TikTok where apparently, let me get it. If you add one of these caramel premier proteins, it apparently tastes like a caramel macchiato, but is much more filling and a lot healthier for you. So I figured I'd give it a try since I am in love with like the iced caramel macchiatos, although I order it a different way to save money. I will link that video up above because it is worth watching, but I wanted to give this a try now because I don't want to wait till we get home. And then once I unload, I'll show you guys the other one. My hopes aren't really high, to be honest, because I'm very picky about my flavors and a four pack of these were like $8. So in the long run, you're probably spending more if you do it this way, but you know, it might be a better option for me. The girl that I saw on TikTok only got two shots of espresso, but a normal like venti iced caramel macchiato has three. So that's why I got three. And we're just gonna shake this up and pour it in. And like I said, my hopes aren't very high <laughs> because whenever I try like dupes and whatever, like, I don't know, they just never seem to be the same. So I'm going to take a little sip of this first, just to see what it's like. But I did get the caramel. I'm like making sure I didn't get like peach or something. Okay. It, it has a caramel flavor, but it tastes like a protein shake. I mean, I'm not surprised it's a protein shake, but here we go. And even with that extra shot, it does fill up perfectly. It is pretty. All right, and I did get a little straw, so we're gonna give this a little swirl. Try not to spill all over myself. The lid back on. Okay, so looks wise, this looks like I would expect it to. Here goes the taste test. I'm hoping that espresso like overpowers the protein part of the protein shake. Okay, so for a healthy option, it's not bad. It doesn't taste the same. It, there's elements that are similar, but you can still tell like there's a protein shake in there. So if you are like, oh my gosh, I need a dupe. That actually is a dupe. It's not a dupe. But like I said, it's not horrible. It's like a plagiarized drink, you know? Like, you know that something's a little off. Let's just put it that way. But let's go get home. Let me put my milk in the fridge and then show you guys a little bit of what I got and do that last little craft once I get her down for a nap. Okay, so I just got Aubrey down for her little nap. I am going to be enjoying, once it cools down a little bit, my little fiesta bowl. I didn't put chicken in, so it is, you know, vegetarian, very delicious. And I figured I would just show you my little haul before I finish eating and then start my other TikTok try, my little craft. Now I already put the milk, crescent rolls, and sour cream away in the fridge. So, you know, that's not too exciting. Uh, obviously, again, I bought these Premier Protein things and I have three more. Not sure if I'm gonna use them. I'll obviously use them up if no one else in my household wants them, but we've got some people doing the keto diet and you know, it seems like it's kind of keto friendly. So if they want it, they can have it. I would rather have my full on calories for the coffee. But if they're not gonna have it, I will probably just make my own espresso and mix this in if I'm craving some type of caramel macchiato drink without having to go to Starbucks. The next thing that I got was actually more of these birthday cake, bunny, Annie's graham cracker things. 
Uh, they are like yellow box cake cookies. They taste delicious. I don't know if they are like a limited time thing. I think it, they had this for their 30th birthday for the company. So I picked up two more just in case I can't get a hold of any more. And I'm already kind of running low from my previous haul. Then I got some more vitamin D vitamins because I'm running low. And vitamin D is really good on keeping your body healthy, especially against everything that's going around right now. So needed to refill on that. Aubrey has been in love with brushing her teeth and I only have fluoride toothpaste for her. So I thought I would buy some training toothpaste because she still isn't really like spitting out her toothpaste. And even though I'm giving her just a little bit of the fluoride toothpaste on her toothbrush, I'd rather like alternate so that when she does swallow, it's not, you know, really, really bad for her. And I went to the store hungry. So I bought some of this like Annie's white cheddar and shells mac and cheese because I'm just a cheeseaholic. The main reason I went to Target was to get some batteries for my niece. Um, I got her a gift and it needed batteries and I didn't have any. So I went to go pick up some of those. And then the last three things are from the dollar spot. So this, I'm, I'm actually kind of surprised. $3 for three cups, three lids and three straws and they're color changing cups. So on the bottom, they had like two different options. One was like a more yellow toned one, but here it kind of shows like how these cups will change color. They're obviously not really changing the color. They're more changing like the darkness of the color, I guess. But uh, I just thought that this is really cute. I love color changing cups and these are smaller. So it could be like me and Aubrey's thing. Uh, just for comparison, this is a color changing cup, although my water is like all warm now, so it's not really like changed the cup any, but um, just for size reference, this one, I don't know exactly how much this holds, but this one holds 15 and a half ounces per cup. So this probably is like a 20 ounce or whatever, but I just thought that these were cute. Uh, the straws have like a little white stripe on them. So I thought that was cute too. And for three bucks, I think it's a, a win. Then uh, this is actually something I bought for my TikTok try today. It's acrylic paint, but this is like a silvery shimmery kind of color. And it was $1 at the Target dollar spot. And then this was $3 and it was kind of small for what I was wanting to do, but I figured you get two paints, a mini canvas and some other tools. So it's kind of worth the $3 rather than buying all the supplies separate, but it is like a little color pour paint DIY project. So I figured I'd give it a try on this little canvas. And then I have some Dollar Tree canvases that I can use up the rest of the paint with. But I thought white, blue, and silver would look really pretty together instead of just the two that they give. But they give you like an idea of what it could look like. And I've seen a variety of ways to do this on TikTok. So on this one, I think I'm gonna try like pouring the paints in layers into the cups and then uh, just like plopping it on and, and letting it roll all over the canvas. But then for a Dollar Tree canvas, I'm gonna try a different technique. So I'll do them both here today. But that wraps up my little haul. Let me finish eating and kind of get prepped for painting because I don't wanna make a mess and then we'll get to it. All right, so we got our little paint pouring kit. It does give you some instructions if you want some inspiration. So let's see what those guys say. So you get three little cups. You've got three little popsicle sticks and your two paints. And like I said, I picked up this silver one uh, as well at the dollar spot. So it describes what you're going to do in five steps. So I've covered my surface with some old ads and I'm probably not gonna use gloves, but if you have little ones, I'd probably wear them if I were them. And then two of these cups are actually gonna hold up this canvas. So let's take off the plastic and set that up. So we're gonna put the two little cups down like this on our covered surface and place our canvas down. Then the next step says to use this third cup and pour different layers of the liquid 
and to fill this halfway so that it will fully cover the canvas. So I'm gonna use my three different paints and do not stir it. So once this is filled up, we're gonna place our canvas on top and then flip it over and set it on the cups um, and then move the canvas around. So maybe I will get gloves. I'd rather not have to wash my hands. And then once the paint fully covers, we're gonna let it drip off and then use our little craft stick that they give us to clean up the display so that it's not like dripping off the sides. So let's try this. So you wanna make sure you shake your paint. All right, so I filled this up about halfway. Now we're gonna take my canvas and place it on top and flip this guy over. Just to find somewhere that finally feels like home. Oh, oh, oh. I hate all this overthinking. Oh, 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 oh. The more I swim, the more I'm singing. So to me, I think it's more obvious that the blue and the white paint were thinner than the silver. And so I think there's like thicker sections on here and that's probably like the silver paint. Getting this last little bit is a little bit more time consuming and stressful because you don't want to have to like pour more paint on, but I think we'll eventually get there. Okay, I really like how this looks actually. Um, I'm gonna place it on top of the cups and let it dry. Also very glad I wore gloves. Highly recommend. Okay, so in examining like every edge of my little canvas here, I did notice that there is a little bit that doesn't have paint there. So what I'm gonna do is just scrape up some with my little crafting stick and just kind of like let it drip off the side there. Okay, so my first reaction is that I am in love with this result and just this technique. I think it's super easy. You could do it on a bigger scale if you get like a huge canvas and like lots of cups. And personally, I love like the kind of abstract type artwork anyways. I think it's beautiful. You can pick like whatever colors you're looking for for your home. You can make this like a huge piece and have it turn out like really, really pretty. And for not that, you know, expensive, like if you were to go and buy something for this end result. I also think that as long as your kids are like protected with gloves or whatever, like this is a really good activity for them to do. They could help you pour the paint in, you know, alternating if you have more than one kid. And overall the main steps, like they could help out with pretty much everything if you don't feel comfortable with them like tipping the canvas you know you can take on that role but they can create a professional looking abstract painting that doesn't look like a kid make it if you know what i mean but while that one is drying let me prepare my other canvas and get what i need for the other technique that i saw on tiktok all right so i got my canvas from the dollar tree this is larger than the one from target so the one from target is like a square about this big but uh, you know, you get that in a pack of a $3 thing with all the paint, so it, it kind of evens out. The Dollar Tree also sells canvases like that that are flat. This one is a wrapped canvas, so it has the wood right here. And this actually I've done plenty of crafts with where I do like a reverse canvas look, and you could probably do that kind of same feel 
using this kind of idea as well, but I'm not gonna do that today. So let's go ahead and open this up. So measurement wise, this is an eight inch by 10 inch canvas. And the other thing that I needed to get was a hair dryer. I have an embossing heater, like air blower tool, but I don't really know how the heat will interact with the paint. So I am using this hair dryer, which has a cool setting. And I just kind of want like air, you know, to be blowing. We're gonna use the same paint. And the first thing that I'm going to do is give this canvas a nice coat of the white paint. So the idea behind this, I think my understanding is just to kind of like get the canvas wet so that the paint will be able to kind of like move a little bit better. Also, if you want to coat it with a different color as a background, you can do that too. But you don't really want, at least based on my understanding, you don't really want like a really thin layer. You'd like it to be a little bit thicker so that it can also move along the canvas as well. So you're not trying to like use as little paint as possible. Using a lot of paint is totally fine at this step because it's all gonna be moving around anyways. And I'm not really worrying about the sides. I figure I can always clean them up later. Or like I mentioned earlier, I might be able to remove the canvas and give this a reverse canvas look. So I got my white paint on there. And now what I'm gonna do is just kind of pour on this paint like this. Same with the silver. The silver isn't as thin, so that's the only thing that kind of like worries me. And then we're gonna go with the same color that we did our base coat and just put that on like the outsides. All right, here goes nothing. Okay, we're gonna take our hair dryer and blow the paint in opposite directions so that it has a nice little fun look. You hurt me, you did, several times. It hurts to admit that with no Okay, I, I'm i liking this, you guys. I don't know what about you. Um, it did push, you know, a lot of the paint off, so make sure you, again, have a covered surface. But I think, I don't know, I might do, I don't know, I'm torn. I don't know if I should just leave it like this or do a little bit at the edges, just because you do see, like, the stripes of paint on the side. Oh gosh, I don't know, but this is really pretty. You know, why not? I have the paint and I can always do this again. I'm gonna do it on the edges just because that's a lot of white paint. I don't know about you, but I'm liking this technique too. I think I'd probably need to put even more paint on the background and just like really blow the paint in either direction so that it takes up more space. And if it's a thicker coat, the air will like kind of brush it away and smooth it out. Here, obviously I probably didn't put enough paint down and that's why we still have the lines, but I don't really want to mess up the design. So I'm just going to leave it as is and be happy with my first attempt. I'd like to thank you guys for coming along on my little random video today of TikTok tries. If you try the Premier Protein slash Espresso Caramel Macchiato dupe or plagiarized drink, let me know how it goes for you and if you enjoy it. Uh, like I said, it's not identical, so don't think that you're gonna get that because you won't. But if your taste buds aren't as picky as mine, maybe you guys will enjoy the drink just as much as a caramel macchiato and have now a healthy choice for your taste buds in the future. Also, I am in love with how my two art pieces turned out. I am, I've been dying to try these TikTok little artsy projects for a while. So I'm excited that I found that project in the Target dollar spot for three bucks, really easy to do and I can't decide which one's my favorite. Which one was your guys' favorite? The Target Dollar Spot Square one or the Dollar Tree Canvas one that I did with the hair dryer? Let me know which one you guys like best down below in the comments. I'm excited to see what you guys prefer. 
If you are new here, I would love for you to stick around. I do all things mom content, recipe videos. I do cleaning videos and organizing videos. I love baking, so I know I've said recipes, but you know, a lot of desserts on this channel as well. Occasionally I do vlogs and I'm, you know, still in this little random series of trying things I see on TikTok. So I hope you guys stick around and know that you are loved and made for greatness and I will catch you guys in the next one. to the end of the video. If you didn't know already, every Monday and Friday, you can find motherhood and lifestyle content on this channel. And since us moms have to do it all, that may mean yummy recipes, easy DIYs, mom hacks, cleaning and organization, or just a combo of everything. Please know that you are loved and you are made for greatness, and I will catch you in the next one.